So I've been very interested in the keto diet, in particular the Bulletproof diet. I figure it's like the cleanest one out there and uh, I've seen great things happen to my body and I'm kind of curious to know if y'all have ever heard of the Bulletproof diet before, but uh, Dave Asprey has uh, this recipe for ice cream in there because people on the keto diet want some ice cream, but this is called the get some ice cream because it's packed full of good nutrients for you that your body feels so satiated that you want to go and get some, you know what I'm saying? So um, I have a lot of the things already prepared in my uh, blender here. So this is where you're going to start with your blender. I use this Ninja Blender, this thing right here. I'm going to link it up. It's more like a food processor, but I use it to make smoothies and all kinds of stuff in. I've actually reviewed this thing before. This thing is amazing, and it's super inexpensive. Um, so what this uh, recipe entails is uh, pastured eggs, pastured egg yolks, um, the uh, vanilla powder. I actually used vanilla, uh, liquid vanilla because I didn't have the powder. Uh, apple cider vinegar, which is that stuff right there. Is it going to focus on it? There we go. It's the Bragg's Organic. I'll link up that. You have uh, some uh, grass-fed butter. I use this right here. This is the Kerrygold uh, Pure Irish Butter. Actually, that's on Amazon too. I'll link up that. Uh, coconut oil. We got the Costco brand, big tub of coconut oil. And then there's the Bulletproof MCT oil, which uh, he calls brain octane oil. Calls for three tablespoons and two teaspoons. I got that right there. I was uh, wanting to do it uh, last here because uh, I know the MCT uh, breaks down pretty quickly. And then I already have my five and a half tablespoons of, I used erythritol, which I used this stuff right here. I can link this up. It's actually a, a sugar substitute as well. That's the ice cream maker right there. We'll be using that. And then uh, I have water, some water right here because uh, it says in case you need it. So I have that ready. So uh, right now what we're going to do, I have, uh, these are the egg yolks and the egg whites from the four eggs that you're supposed to keep the whites from and the brain octane oil. So let's go ahead and measure that out and get the, all that put into there right now. So let's see, I have my spoons here and it calls for three tablespoons of MCT. That's one. And I'm curious to know what this stuff's gonna taste like. We're gonna do a little taste test in this video. It calls for a lot of MCT oil, and this the Bulletproof brand stuff is not that expensive, but it is the uh, most potent. You can use uh, other MCT oils if you want to as well. Uh, I just decided to be uh, a purist to the recipe. Now I'm gonna add in all those eggs right there. Oh yeah, that looks good. And as y'all can see, there's the big block of butter right there, and there's that's the erythritol on the top. So now that we have all that in there, we're going to cap it with the top here. And then we're going to just blend all this together, and we'll add a little bit of water um, after we kind of get the right consistency going. So basically you're trying to go for like a, a whipping cream uh, type of texture, a heavy whipping cream kind of texture. I like this blender because the motor's on the top, and although you have to hold down the button the entire time, it doesn't burn out your motor, which is one thing that I really love about this thing. Oh, that's looking great. Look at that. That smells delicious, too, of course, with all the, the good butter in there. Let me give it a little bit more blend. You think we should add some water to that? Yeah, I think we're gonna add just a little bit of water. It also says you can use ice as well. But um, since it's going to be put into an ice cream maker, I figured I don't need to try and make it super duper cold. Okay, so now here is the fun part that we get to test out. Oh yeah, that looks great. I like it. So this is the ice cream machine right here that we're going to be using. So we're going to pour that on into there. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so this uh, ice cream maker makes one and a half quarts of ice cream and uh, so this probably looks like only about half of that is what's in there so if i wanted to i could double the recipe and uh I had, i'm pretty sure i'd have plenty of room this is the paddle i'm just going to simply uh, put that right there on top and then we're going to put the lid on and there's these little holes down here that you want to line up to make sure it stays in place. And then this thing's going to start spinning right here, the paddle, but it's going to be stopped by that little nougat right there whenever I turn it on. And so that'll make it turn. It'll make it turn. You ready? There's a big button right here. I like how big the button is. You simply press that. And it's just going to sit there and turn for a while now. I think it said 
that it needs to churn, um, if I understood, or it said that you should have ice cream in about 20 minutes. So we're gonna give this uh, 20 minutes and I'll come back and do that taste test. Stop, and it just finished. It took 20 minutes to work in this Cuisinart ice cream maker right here. Let me go ahead and stop this so we can stop the noise here. So that's the Cuisinart ice cream maker. Let's, uh, let's see, it's my first time taking it off, so. Okay, just pull up on that. I'm just gonna leave the paddle in. I think you're supposed to take this mixture and put it into the freezer for a couple of hours, but I'm just way too curious. So I'm gonna, man, look at that. Look at the texture of that. It looks just like ice cream. It looks beautiful. I'm so excited to taste this. I have no clue what it's gonna taste like. Are y'all ready for the taste test? I've never had this kind of keto ice cream before. Um, it's made with tons of butter, so it should be good, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Definitely like, if you like the taste of butter, it's, uh, it's very heavy on the butter. Uh, it, I could probably, I feel like I could add a little bit more vanilla to it. I feel like it's not vanilla enough, and I'm not one to say that because I'm not a huge fan of vanilla. I prefer chocolate. I just wanted to be a purist to the recipe. So the next batch I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try adding some cocoa powder to it. Thank you dads for watching. Dad out.